Hello, my name is Vince Cerf. I'm Google's Chief Internet Evangelist. Today I'd like to take you back 20 years to 1994 when the Internet was turned on in the Philippines. This was about the time when Mark Andreessen's Mosaic browser was spreading rapidly across the Internet. It was a very exciting time because many of us began to understand more deeply what the possibilities were of this global network something that included voice and video and imagery and text well beyond the confines of the earlier internet that had been turned on in the United States in 1983 but was really heavily text oriented. Now we had a magazine on the air, so to speak. And so this network grew very, very rapidly in the Philippines and elsewhere. And over the course of the last 20 years, we've seen many, many applications arising. Now we carry the internet in our pockets, in our mobiles. I don't know if you know this, but the handheld mobile was developed in 1973, first conceived by Marty Cooper, and it took him 10 years to get to the point where the mobile could be turned on, just about the same period of time between Bob Kahn and uh, my paper that was published in 1973 to 1983 when we turned the internet on in the United States. So these two technologies have been on a... Uh, I won't call it a collision course, it's more like a combining course, because the two really are uh, a wonderful match. They're mutually reinforcing. Uh, the mobile lets you get access to the internet wherever you are, and the horsepower of the mobile, which is quite uh, is significant, gets more capability by activating uh, applications in the internet. So these two systems very much reinforce each other's utility. And I'm sure that it's a very popular way of using the net in the Philippines as it is elsewhere. We might imagine what's going to happen next. The Internet of Things seems to be coming, for which we will need IP version 6. So I hope all of you listening are working hard to make sure that gets implemented promptly. The Internet of Things might include anywhere from 50 to 100 billion devices, maybe even 100 devices per person. It will be things that we have on our person, maybe even in our person, things in the car, things at home, things at works. <clears throat> it will lead to smart cities uh, that are much more aware of their environment, of the consumption of resources and the flow of traffic, uh, managing uh, these things in a more effective way. I think the list of uh, possible applications is literally endless, and those of you who have mobiles with applications on them will appreciate that there seems to be an app for almost anything you can think of. Well, I wish I could be there with you in person. Unfortunately, my travel schedule didn't permit a stop in the Philippines at the time of your celebration, so you'll have to put up with virtual vent. But I do look forward to an opportunity to visit sometime in the future, and in the meantime, I'll see you on the net.